When trying to review code, engineers don't know or often forget to follow certain patterns, processes, and workflows. If you're a new team member, code patterns and processes are hidden and not obvious when trying to read the code. So I'm excited today to show you code automations. Code automations allow users to automate code knowledge hidden in the code and expose the right information at the right time in their workflow. This ensures that you can scalably enforce processes, best practices, gotchas, patterns, all without annoying your developers so that they can actually pay attention and don't just ignore warnings. So let's add an automation trigger. An automation consists of conditions and actions. If we detect that the conditions have been met, we perform the action. It's a very simple yet powerful way to create a great developer experience. For some context, in our code base, we do deploys with zero downtime. This means every time you need to make a change to the database, in other words, do a migration, the same code must work correctly before and after the migration. But our engineers sometimes forget this rule, but now we can give them a checklist and a reminder explaining why we need to do this. So first, we'll give the trigger a name. We'll select the repo. And we'll give it a condition. You can match a change in the pull request when the file path is changed, the file name is changed, or a file in a particular folder is changed. We will add more conditions over time. Just let us know which ones you'd like to have added. In this case, we're going to change when a file is added to a folder. We're going to ensure that the folder path matches a particular glob, but you can also choose when a path equals, contained, start with, or end with. And then we will give it a path. Notice that the preview shows all of the files that match this condition. So you can ensure that your path is one that you want. If you'd like this automation trigger to notify you on a draft PR, you can just check this box. Simple. Next, you want to add the action that you want to occur when this trigger happens. You can choose from add a comment, add a checklist, add a reviewer, or add an assignment. And over time, we will add more options as well. First, we're going to add a checklist. So to make a checklist, all you do is choose the add checklist option and say what you want the checklist to have. You can also mix and match. So we'll also add a comment to remind the developer why this checklist is relevant. And that's it. Hit save and your trigger was created. Now you can start automating with code automation triggers. So the next time your colleague or your future self needs to make a change, it can trigger exactly the right checklist or a certain approver or reminder whatever your team needs to scalably enforce processes without annoying team members with irrelevant pings. Happy coding.